Hi, I'm Mandy Bradshaw from Bankbound here with four tips in two minutes. Google and Yahoo are implementing new guidelines for bulk email senders February 1st, 2024 to protect against spam and improve deliverability. There are many resources available on how to meet these guidelines and we'll provide links to all of those. However, for this video, we want to break down all the jargon into easy to understand terms for you. The guidelines state that the requirements are only for those sending 5,000 or more emails daily. Even if you don't send that many a day, it's a smart idea to get these guidelines in place now. The first step to meeting the guidelines is to ensure that your domain, aka your website, has SPF and DKIM in place. SPF and DKIM are both email authentication methods. They're like our driver's license or passport. They're to prove who we are. DKIM does this by adding a digital signature to outgoing messages. SPF protects against spoofing. One of the ways it does this is by holding the records of all of the allowed servers who can relay or send emails for your domain. If the sending server isn't on the list, it will be blocked. SPF also helps prevent your outgoing messages from being marked as spam by receiving servers. The second step to meeting the guidelines is to set up a DMARC policy. DMARC is the second layer of email authentication that helps protect email senders and recipients from advanced threats that can be the source of an email data breach when a sent email fails SPF and DKIM authentication. Essentially, DMARC is the bouncer of an email club. If someone doesn't have the legitimate ID necessary, DMARC can prevent them from getting in. You can use your DMARC policy to decide how strict to be with those who fail SPF and DKIM authentication. You can decide if nothing is done with the email, if the emails are quarantined for further review, or if they're rejected altogether. A DMARC policy also has the domain postmaster's email address listed to the send the failed reports to give insights into emails that fail authentication. Finally, we recommend working with your IT professional to get these SPF, DKIM, and DMARC guidelines in place before February 1st, 2024. Don't forget to visit the linked resources for additional in-depth information.